Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Today I want to talk a little bit about tillage. At the PTI farm, we implement a strip till program and it's really worked nice for us. We're really happy with, with the strip till program we've got at the farm. We've had conventional tillage programs in the past that were just a little bit too aggressive for us. And then we had some no-till um, tillage programs that we struggled a bit with. We're trying to get better with it, but what we found is that strip till has been a happy medium and in the fall, this is a great program for us. And, and I guess the success is twofold. Number one, the tillage. I love this Kuhn Krauss Gladiator strip till bar that we're using with a mole knife to go eight to 10 inches deep to give us lift and fracture, get rid of some compaction that we're creating in the field. But here's the other advantage. I'm putting fertilizer, high concentrated bands of fertilizer in the bottom of, the, of those strips. And I think that's a huge advantage for us as well. Now, spreading fertilizer on the farm, in the past, we do conventional spreading. You see the picture of the floater here on the screen. You know, spinning fertilizer, spreading fertilizer right on top of the soil surface. And as a grower, we have to expect that fertilizer to get down through the soil profile to get to the roots of our plants. With strip till, it's, it's totally different. We're putting the fertilizer where the roots are at, and I, I've called this in the past luxury consumption. It's not that we're putting on more fertilizer, it's just that we're putting it on in a spot that makes it easy for the plant to get it. So again, strip till I think has been great, a great tillage program for us, but these high concentrated bands of fertilizer that we're putting in, it's also um, uh, very interesting to look at and we've been successful with that. How successful? Well, look at spreading dry fertilizer on top of the soil surface like we've traditionally done for years and, and decades for that matter compared to strip tilling those high concentrated bands of fertilizer in the bottom of the strip. Last year in 2020 at the PTI farm we saw over 17 bushel advantages by that fertility program. That times the price of corn we were making over $52 an acre in that scenario. So again, that's why I say strip till has been very successful for us twofold. Tillage being number one, but fertility uh, being also very important. The question I want to pose today, knowing what we know that we've had success with strip till on at the PTI farm is, what happens if we run into a fall? Because most of all my strip till is done in the fall, right behind the combine. What if we get into a situation where we can't get, a, get all of our acres done because of inclement weather? So the question I'm asking today is, what's better, fall strip till or spring strip till? If we get inclement fall weather and we don't get all of our acres done, can we come in in the spring and finish our strip till then? And so some of the first disadvantages that come into my head in regard to spring strip till is this, it's never fit. I mean, we struggle to get soils fit enough to plant, let alone coming in with a strip till rig. Now, I'm running eight to 10 inch strips in the fall. If I'm gonna do spring strip till, am I gonna go that same depth? No, I don't think I can do it because we're just gonna be too wet underneath. So we're gonna shallow up. And the Kuhn Krauss bar that, that you see on the picture here, that bar, the shallowest I can go is actually six inches. We've gotta be cognizant about wet soils. If we get into wet soils, we're gonna create an air pocket and we're gonna call uh, create sidewall smear and that's not gonna do us any good at all. And one of the other things I think about too is, you know, if we're dry enough in the spring to be making strips, I just kind of wonder if the planter should be running not to strip till bar. Could it be slowing us down? Something that, that, that at least I consider. Here's the other thing. If we're going to shallow up in the spring due to wet conditions and we are putting fertilizer on as well, if it's a high salt load, that salt load could be getting too close to the seed. So those are some quick disadvantage that I think about. I'm not saying they're deal breakers at all, on every operation, but there's something that, that I, I worry about with spring strip till. Now, I say that, and in 2021, we had the perfect spring for spring strip till. And I say that because we were, we were dry. We were cold, we were cool, soils were cool, but we were dry, and so we were able to come out. We weren't ready to plant corn because it was too early. This was the end of March, the 1st of April. We weren't ready to plant corn yet, but we could come in and make strips. And, this is the first time I've ever seen strips work this well. I mean, the video that, that, that you're seeing on the screen here, we made some beautiful strips. Again, this was the end of March, 1st of April. Beautiful strips that is, is gonna be really nice to plant into. But the problem with this is it just very seldom happens. We seldom get a spring this nice where we can do as good of a job stripping as we did this year. 
We are looking at different fertilizer rates as well. We've done video, inside PTL videos in the past that, that, that basically showed what we're doing with fertilizer rates and efficiencies with strip till in the fall. Well, how does that compare to spring applications? I, I'm pretty proud to say that we've got this testing in the field now at the PTI farm, and so we can start to evaluate this in the future. So today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is, you know, bottom line, whenever we do tillage, it's gotta be fit. What we found at the PTI farm is that fall strip till has worked really well for us. One note to mention too is, in the past with strip till, we were using a lot of ammonia. I don't use ammonia anymore because I think it just slows me down. Why do I say that? Well, in the fall, we're out harvesting. We can't make our strips and put ammonia on because soils are too warm. And so when it finally cools down enough, the problem is we get a rain and then we're, we're not fit anymore. It's so hard to get soils dry enough again to go out and make good strips. So I don't even go down that road anymore. We're just running dry fertilizer and after the combine rolls, we're out there making some beautiful strips, putting that dry fertilizer in and that has been a really good sound program for us. Remember, when we work soils wet, we're gonna create an air pocket and we're gonna create compaction and that's not a good situation at all. So stay tuned for harvest results of our spring strip till versus fall strip till. I have to think right now due to the conditions that all the strip till went in, it's all gonna be really good and probably not a big difference in it. But time will tell, we'll take you to the field this fall and we'll show you the differences at the PTI. Well, that's all the time we have for today. If you've got any questions about anything we've talked about, feel free to reach out to any Precision Planning Premier dealer or shoot us an email at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks so much for watching.